Hospitali kuu nchini zimepungukiwa na hifadhi ya damu huku hospitali ya Jaramogi Oginga ikilazimika kusitisha huduma za upasuaji. Wasiwasi sasa ukiwa bayana haswa kwa wagonjwa wenye mahitaji ya kuongezewa damu kwa dharura. Katika kaunti ya Kisumu hali ni ya kutamausha. Hospitali ya rufaa ya Jaramogi Oginga imesimamisha huduma za upasuaji unaohitaji ujuzi wa juu kwa sababu ya madhara yanayoweza kutokea kwa kukosa damu. Hali ni sawia katika maeneo mengi nchini. Suala linalosababisha hata hospitali ndogo ndogo kukosa damu ambayo uhitajika sana haswa miongoni mwa kina mama wanaojifungua wagonjwa wanaogua anemia na majeruhi. If you find for example your patient has a lower a severe a severely anemic and then you have somebody telling you that you do this so that I, I give you blood then definitely we go for that money upungufu wa damu nchini umeendelea kukithiri baada ya serikali ya Marekani kuondoa ufadhili mwezi wa Septemba mwaka huu wagonjwa pamoja na familia zao wamelazimika kulipia damu kinyume na kanuni uh, we are having shortage both in uh, the hospitals and even the regional uh, uh, RBTS the regional blood uh, trans transmission service because requests that are coming from uh, the satellite uh, uh, hospitals are actually not being serviced. Kwenye kikao kaunti ya Mombasa kujadili changamoto ya upungufu wa damu nchini, kamati ya afya bungeni imetangaza kuwa kutegemea usaidizi wa mataifa kupita kiasi na ukosefu wa bajeti kwa huduma ya kitaifa ya kuhifadhi damu kumechangia masaibu ya ukosefu wa damu hospitalini. Because we have challenges coordinating the counties uh, from the national government, uh, there have been out, a huge outcry of the shortage of blood in Kenya. We've also seen main donors who have been funding the blood transfusion services withdrawing from Kenya. Kenya inahitaji painti laki tano kila mwaka kukimu mahitaji ya damu. Elfas Lagat, Runinga Citizen.